Hello everyone, David Gilio here with Ozen Engineering and in this video I will show you how to use ANSYS MotorCAD, the mechanical module, to perform electric and VH analysis to determine the modes that correspond to noise and vibration produced in the motor. So as the rotor rotates, the eight poles pass by the stated teeth and produce applied repulsive and attractive forces which are oscillatory and if the frequency of this oscillation matches the natural frequency of the stated structure, resonance will be produced and the goal is for the designer or operator of the motor is to operate the motor at a frequency that does not match any of the natural frequencies right and for each mode there is an associated stiffness and modal mass number so as the vibrations get stronger with speed more mass is oscillating more mass is involved in the vibration right so what we, so in MotorCAD we go to after we set up our motor we have it ready to perform the NVH calculation we go to calculation ENVH go to excuse me go to calculation ENVH here now we, we need to de define the torque speed curve by setting operating points over which we want to analyze the motor for electric noise vibration so it's it's electric noise vibration because we're considering here the NVH produced by electromagnetic um, effects right or causes so there are different causes for NVH here we're analyzing the electric causes all right so we have our requested torque points and our speeds of operation we click generate ENVH and forces the mechanical module will use EMAG right to calculate the forces and the mechanical mechanical module will calculate the peak line current and phase advance which is required to um, obtain these torque values as, as close as possible to the requested torque all right so once 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 we have the results for this calculation then we can go to ENVH and then we can look at different plots so here is a plot of stiffness versus mole number so as the speed of the rotor increases the modal number increases so the stator is being deformed with a higher mole number which means that the the structure is, is basically has a spatial periodicity also the vibration distribution has peri um, spatial periodicity so and it so this distribution or, or the state of structure is divided evenly by this modal number so here, here's an, an example of how this looks like so this modal number zero um, the state of structure is just contracting and expanding uniformly mode number zero mode, mode, mode number two the structure is being deformed into an oval shape so it has two equal pieces or so has a symmetry order two right in mode number four the structure is deformed into a structure which has a symmetry order four and mode number eight is divided into symmetry order eight so we, the, the structure itself has develops or deforms into this shape which the shape has eight equal parts and similar with the with the force or vibration distribution all right so we can see also as mode number increases corresponding to increasing rotor speed the vibrations are stronger more mass is involved in the vibration so this modal mass number increases and the frequency of rotation and relates to the mole number in in not necessarily in a linear fashion if under certain conditions the frequency and mole number would would have a linear relationship such as a string fixed at one point and at the other end it the string is oscillating then the frequency and mole number would have a, a, a linear relationship right and then we can also look at torque plots so how torque relates to electric angle how hard how the harmonic 
amplitude and phase angle relate to the order of electrical angle. And we can see other plots here, such as structural. We can see the space order and frequency, um, how this affects the static displacement. We can look at let's see, velocity plot. So, so at each point on the stator, right, the, this would deal with radial forces. So the, the stator is it has electromagnetic forces applied to it, which are radial, and these forces are oscillating radially, so pushing and pulling the stator points, right, at each point, is being um, vibrated, right, in and out, radi vibrating radially, and the velocity of the vibration is shown in this plot. So we could look at the frequency, the, the space order, to determine um, what are the velocities that are corresponding to these values, right? And then we can also look at acoustic data, spectrogram. We've got different tabs to select, but for acoustic spectrogram, we can see that for a given speed, what sound frequency is produced and what is the corresponding radiated power um, associated with this sound and speed. Okay, so that is all for this video. Thank you for watching and contact us to learn about our simulation capability and request a demonstration for us to show you how we can help you with your engineering projects. Ozone Engineering Inc. is an ANSYS Elite channel partner and we provide training to use ANSYS tools, offer consulting services, and sell ANSYS software packages. Thank you very much.